Hey, how's it going? Xander Fryer here with Shit You Don't Learn in College, and today I wanna to talk to you about the 10 books that every coach needs to read. So, as a coach, especially when you're helping people with personal development, we all know that it's important for us to continue to develop as coaches as well, right? But sometimes we don't know where to look, what works, what doesn't, to really delve deep into and really take into our own personal development. So, just so you're aware, I learned a skill about three years ago called photo reading, which allows me to read very, very quickly. So I actually read one to two books per week. And because of that, over the last three years, I've read hundreds of books, and I'm gonna give you the top 10 that I've gone through over the last three years that have crucially developed myself and my business to be able to impact others. All right, so I gotta start off the list with The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. This is a New York Times number one bestseller. Jack is a, a personal friend and mentor of mine, and this book is the book that really kickstarted my personal development career. It's an all-encompassing book around, well, the success principles. So everything from your mindset, your ability to take action, your ability to overcome fears, everything is in here. The theories, the stories, everything that you need to really get up and running personally, I don't think there's a better success coach in the industry that coming from one of the best success coaches in the industry. So to learn what everything this man has put into his entire career as a coach in one book, phenomenal. Now the next book I wanna talk about is The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. Now this book is incredibly powerful, especially if you're running a business, and it digs really deep into the importance of singularity of focus. One of the biggest problems that I see in the world today is people spreading their focus, spreading their energy to multiple things rather than focusing on one thing at a time. This idea and the way that Jay and Gary talk to you about actually implementing these strategies will completely transform your business and your life. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Now, book number three is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. So if you're not a fan of Stoicism or you don't know what Stoicism is, I still think you gotta get this one anyways. Marcus Aurelius, for those of you who don't know, was the last great emperor of Rome. He's one of the greatest rulers of all time, and these are his notes, his personal notes over the course of a decade through his life, all his insights around life, his philosophies around life. So you're taking one of the smartest, most successful humans to ever live, and you're putting his brain into this book. So if you wanna absorb some seriously, seriously deep knowledge, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Now the book number four that I wanna talk about is a New York Times number one bestseller called Tuesdays with Maury. Now I absolutely love this book. What it is, it's a younger guy who's a journalist going back to one of his, uh, his college professors and actually interviewing him at the end of his life, Maury, who has ALS and is diagnosed with ALS and is actually dying. And he spends the last few weeks with him during his, during his period of going through that, that process of facing death and really contemplating life and the impact and what really matters. And this book is incredibly eye-opening. When you really start to contemplate death, and the end of your life and what that's like, and you get to hear it from somebody who is actually slowly disintegrating, it really changes your perspective on how to live. One of my favorite things that he says in here, he says, you can't really live until you accept that you're gonna die. Now, book number five is Presuasion by Robert Cialdini. Now, this is the follow-up to one of the world-famous books that Robert Cialdini wrote called Influence. Now, Robert Cialdini wrote Influence originally to help uh, stop war propaganda by telling everybody how uh, you know political, political regimes were actually influencing uh, things like World War II and in Vietnam to prevent you from being influenced. But the book Influence actually ended up becoming like a, a marketer's Bible. So Robert Cialdini uh, actually wrote a follow-up to the book called Presuasion, and it's all about how to ethically influence and persuade people into accomplishing things. So if you're taking your coaching business and you wanna learn how to grow the business or market the business, this book is absolutely paramount for you, Presuasion by Robert Cialdini. Now this next one I wanna talk about is Atomic Habits by James Clear, and this one's the easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. Now, uh, let me drop some knowledge on you. Your subconscious mind is 95% of your brain. And some people theorize that up to 90% of the actions you take are unconscious. 90%, nine out of 10 of the actions you take are unconscious. Think about it, when was the last time you remembered brushing your teeth in the morning? You don't really think about, oh, I gotta go up and down and side to side and I gotta go over here. It just kinda happens, right? So this book, it talks about all the, the, the little things that you need to do to program the habits in your life to be successful and how the little habits, the atomic size habits, 
can turn into atomic sized bomb results. Check it out. Oh, you guys, this is one of my all time favorites. Wooden on leadership. Now, this isn't one of my all time favorites just because I went to UCLA and John Wooden was a UCLA coach. But if you're a coach and you wanna study one of the best, not just in sports, but in anything, John Wooden is widely known as one of the best coaches of all time. And he was the UCLA, uh, UCLA basketball coach uh, for about 20 years. And over a 12 year span, he won something like 11 titles. He's absolutely insane in terms of the results that he got, but he talks deeply on his strategy, his systems, how he got people to do the things that he got them to do. If you think about that in college, you have a totally new team every single year. It's not like professional sports where you're working with the same players all the time. Every single year, he was working with new players, yet he was able to repeat results over and over and over again because he's just that good of a coach. So if you wanna learn how to coach and how to get results with your people, this is the guy to learn from. All right, so as you've noticed, most of these books are nonfiction books, and here we got The Alchemist, a story by Paulo Coelho. Now, this is absolutely one of my favorites, and the reason that I love it is this book actually teaches all of the concepts and all of the topics that I seek to teach as a coach, and it teaches it in a beautifully written story that will tug on your heartstrings, will make you cry, and will make you rethink life in a totally different way. This book is one of my absolute favorites, not just because of the lessons in it, because of how well it is written. I can read this book over and over and over again. All right, guys, here's a fun and weird one. The End to Upside Down Thinking by Mark Gober. Now, this book delves deep into the research around how we think about consciousness and it dispels the myth that your brain actually produces consciousness and actually scientifically proves a communal consciousness. That might scare a lot of people and this might not be for you if that's too scary for you, but this will scientifically prove to you that there is a communal consciousness that we can tap into and it goes through the research on how it's done. If you wanna to start to expand your mind and think about the universe in a totally different way, this is the book that's gonna open you up real fast. And last but not least is a book by a good friend and mentor of mine, Dr. Deb Sandella, Goodbye Hurt and Pain. I actually just did a podcast interview with Deb and this book is phenomenal. It delves deep into how to overcome anxiety, stress, trauma, and limiting beliefs permanently. And it's actually going to give you the concrete steps and strategies. I don't know if you can tell, there's all these notes up at the top from me and Maddie reading through this book several times, but it's gonna give you the concrete strategies on how you can overcome your own limiting beliefs, your own fears, your own, your own traumas, through the processes in this book. So if you have limiting beliefs, if you don't, you're lying to yourself. If you have limiting beliefs, this book can help you overcome them. And last but not least on the list, of course, is Shit You Don't Learn in College. When Shit You Don't Learn in College comes out in October 2021, this is gonna be a compilation of all of my knowledge, all of my research, all of the hundreds and thousands of people that I've worked with over the last five years to bring that to you to help you build a life with more money, more meaning, and more freedom. So obviously I can't talk about, you know, the top 10 books that every coach needs to read without giving shit you don't learn in college a little bitty bump, but you're gonna wanna check that one out too. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button below. If you have any other specific topics that you want me to cover in the future, go ahead and comment that below as well. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another great video. I'll see you in there.